Ace automatically replaces the background sound by the stimulus sound every now and then. You can turn this off by clicking on the background sound during the test. The highlighted words indicate this state. Ace now plays the background sound only. You can launch the stimulus sound manually by clicking on its button. Return to the automatic state by clicking once again on the background sound. The default interval between two sounds is 850 milliseconds. During the test, you can change this interval. Turning it down will speed up the sequence. And vice versa. The default intensity at which the ACE phonemes are presented is 70 dB HL asterisk. HL asterisk stands for hearing level with the reference sound being a narrow band noise centered at 1 kHz. Since all phonemes are loudness balanced, this is the correct scientific notation. Bear in mind that intensity roving is imposed between minus and plus 3 decibels. This means that the presentation level randomly varies between 67 and 73 decibels. You can change the presentation level before starting to present the sounds. The report shows that the score comes from another presentation level than the test default. Instead of selecting different phoneme pairs manually, you can choose to select one of the playlists. The ear group 20 automatically plays the 20 phoneme contrast switch figure on the report. This list has been carefully selected to represent the spectral domain and also to contain easy contrasts at the top and difficult contrasts at the bottom. The ear group 7 plays these 7 selected contrasts. This is a short list that is often used in children with limited attention span. Select a playlist and press start to begin. Ace presents the first contrast and allows you to enter the score. Then, Ace automatically presents the next contrast. Press start to play this contrast. Ace indicates the end of the playlist. During the playlist, you can use undo to remove the last score. The score disappears from the report and Ace selects the most recent phoneme contrast again. Press start to play this contrast again. The new score appears on the report. If the listener does not discriminate one of the contrasts, Ace can make a real-time spectral analysis of the sounds. Select the sounds. And press the spectral analysis button. Ace displays the spectral analysis of the two sounds. Each sound has a color code. Its spectral content is given in the graph. The spectral difference between the sounds is shown in red. In this example, the major difference lies in the 250 Hz band. You may select another frequency table, for instance the frequency table that corresponds to the device the listener is wearing. The spectral content is then displayed as a function of the frequency bands chosen. The graph now shows the channels containing the cues which the patient should use to discriminate the two sounds from one another. Here, these are electrodes 22 and 1. You may create your own frequency table by means of the table editor. To do so, you can start from an existing table. 
Save this as a new table. Change the spectral bands. And save the modifications. The new table is now ready to be used. The table editor also allows you to change the caption of the horizontal axis. And to perform other operations on the tables. You can save a table for exclusive use with the current patient. This is useful when the spectral bands are particular for this patient only. Otherwise, the table will be available for all patients. You can choose which table is the default table. This table will be used by default when opening the spectral analysis feature. At the end of the test, you may add remarks in the remarks field. They will be saved and displayed with the test results.